Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 24th. Keep in mind that the timing is still fluid and not every reading is for you. So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for around the 24th? Two cups. Two cups. Like two cups about a partnership, about a union, about love, soulmates, possible soulmate connection. You know, so there's a, there's definitely love in the air. Somebody is thinking about a companion or they're thinking about offering love. There's definitely um, you know, this is a happy couple. This is a union of some sort. It's It's a I don't know, it's some sort of union. This is love. I mean, this is really, really, really love. So this is some sort of um, coming together. Two people coming together by the looks of things. Looks like love to me. I think there's some sort of mutual attraction. There's, there's love in the air, you know, it's uh, whatever it is. This is two people. Uh, looking at each other face to face and, you know, feeling the love. Oh my God. It's definitely, a, this is the lovers. Okay, so it's definitely about love. This is, a, this is totally a soulmate connection. Unexpected. Okay, this is love. This is soulmates, it's kindred spirits, the perfect union. It's also a major choice. So this is a healing love. We definitely have love here. Somebody is going to be in this. It's like an angel is bringing two people together. And I see holding hands. It's like coming together and holding hands. So I do see a union here. I do see a union that is coming together. Um, wow. Unexpectedly. This is unexpected. Somebody's going to be following their heart. We have a cold person who typically is very cold and uncaring that doesn't communicate well. I feel like we have somebody here that's going to be communicating. There's a deep attraction or they're being pulled in a direction. I feel like they, they've been too, you know, they've been using their head and not using their heart. But I feel like their heartstrings are being pulled in some way. I mean, the King of Swords in reverse. I feel like there's been some sort of neglect. Somebody hasn't been... Uh, seeing clearly or something or now, but now they're, I feel like they're following their heart because of these two cards. Um, I think that in the past we have somebody that was very cold, you know, and not open, but now there's something is happening because of this, this connection is deep. We have a deep, deep, deep soulmate connection. And this is like, you know, This is, this is love. I mean, this is totally, this is totally, totally, totally love. This is an angel that is bringing two people together at this time unexpectedly. Now somebody's really, really, really interested. They weren't interested in the past. They may have missed an opportunity, but now they see it clearly. They didn't want it before, or they didn't see it before, or they were soaking, or they were crying, or they were moping, or whatever, but now they want it. Now they're interested. So now somebody's really, really interested. They, they see an opportunity, and they want it. And I feel like this person was shut down. They were withdrawn before. Two of Wands reversed. There's been some indecision, but this could be a sudden arrival. There could be a sudden, a spur of the moment decision, and this is very sudden as well. It's an unexpected choice in love, and this is choice as well. So I do believe somebody is going to be making an unexpected, I don't know, offer or entrance or something like that. Um, oh my goodness there's been a lot of fear somebody's been fearful they've been fearful they've been fearful probably of rejection or going down the wrong path you know they've been or fearful of even falling in love but now it's like they've had oh they've had, had overwhelming worry but now i feel like they're they're just gonna go 
You know, they, they just, they can't stop themselves. This is a magnetic attraction. They're being pulled. I feel like somebody's being pulled towards their soulmate, which is very interesting. But I feel like there's been some sort of indecisiveness, right? There's, somebody's been held back. They've been held back by logic, right? Like, or, you know, trying to be logical or trying to be hard or trying to be uncaring. You know, I'm not going to care. I'm not going to think about this. I'm not going to, I'm not going to focus on this. I'm going to just push it aside but you can't you can't push it aside if it's love it's love you can't you can't just push it aside you know if it's meant to be it's meant to be and with the lover's card and the two of cups it looks like we have a, and the two of wands which is partnerships we definitely have a partnership here that is meant to be there's been some sort of neglect or somebody that didn't want it or they missed missed it they missed it before but now it's like they see it and they want it so yeah I mean, what I was going to say when I saw this card was a reunion, but I was reluctant to say it. So for some of you, it could be a reu reunion. There could be a sudden departure, you know, that leads to a sudden arrival, you know. So it could go either way. I do see two people coming together that are meant to be together. And it happens very suddenly. It is definitely spur of the moment. I think we have somebody here that makes a decision. You know, it's like all of a sudden they just open their eyes and, and see that see what they want. Um, ooh, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Now, they, is there some sort of sort of short-lived success here? Somebody may have made a decision based on logic, and it ended, you know, or it's not being successful, or there's no comfort. It's not very comfortable. Um, the Ten of Pentacles reverse could be a change in resonance. Um, short-lived success there could be family issues there could be family feuds going on which have been causing problems in a partnership which have caused that may have caused the departure and may and also may have woken somebody up but anyway um, I do see a huge loss or losing it all with the ten of pentacles you know maybe somebody is is seeing that they have lost something that could have made them very comfortable very stable very secure and they're feeling it they're feeling the huge loss and maybe that's why now now they see maybe maybe now they see the the uh, connection because they've lost something of great value i mean this is a huge huge loss um, now the Ten of Pentacles reversed is also unstable. It's like an unstable uh, home life or an unstable business. And, but this is seeing something that has been missed. We have the, I don't know if there's been some sort of abuse with the King of Swords reversed. This is somebody that can be mentally abusive. It could be any kind of abuse, but actually this is an abuse of power you know this is also um somebody that uh is not honest you know hasn't been honest with themselves probably about their feelings because this is feelings somebody hasn't been honest about their feelings they may have been in a situationship with somebody you know um maybe it was a rebound it happened very suddenly. Somebody may have gotten themselves into a rebound partnership, but it, it's not ending on a successful note. Um, Ten of Pentacles reversed. That's a lack of abundance, a lack of security, a loss of security. Somebody's losing something big, and they've been putting out false impressions. They have, they may have been pretending they were in a happy home, you know, and they were ignoring an opportunity for love, you know, trying to be logical or trying to being hard and uncaring, but now their heartstrings are being pulled in a, in a different direction. That is exactly what I see. I do feel like this is, a, this is like a, a pretty sudden change. I do think it's a sudden awakening of some sort. Um, hmm. investment somebody is definitely thinking about their options they're thinking about what they should do there could be a relocation here somebody could be relocating and they're really somebody is really thinking about you know what they should do should they invest should they go someplace else what should i do so there's a lot of thinking here i 
I feel like it's time. I feel like it's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to uh, go someplace else. Ooh, yeah, we have a strong individual here that is ready to uh, settle down. This person is done fighting. They're done playing games. This is somebody that is uh, looking for victory, looking for success, and they've been thinking about where they want to invest now, and they have their eye on somebody that they feel a deep connection with, and I feel like they are going to be making an entrance, so there's going to be an entrance here. Uh, the Six of Wands is a hero. This is a hero. This is victory after sorrow. This is somebody who has a lot of life experience that this is a protector. Uh, somebody that is very noble that is coming in. This person is very noble. They are leaving behind something that was uncomfortable, that ended unsuccessfully. So we do have a... Well, you know, there, it is actually, well, this is a card of success, but this is unsuccessful. So somebody may, they may be divorced or they've been in a relationship that didn't end successfully, but it leads them, this is victory after sorrow. So that somebody is ending a, well, it looks like it's a relationship of some sort. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, you know, there could be a change in residence, you know, they, they may have just ended it, I don't know. They may have just ended it. Or, it, you know, maybe, I don't know, could have, could have ended a while back. I mean, it could have, but I don't know. It feels like something has ended suddenly to me. That's how I feel. I feel like there's been a sudden ending. Somebody has come to some sort of realization about where they should be investing their time and energy. And I feel like this is a huge wake-up call. And I don't even have a wake-up call card, but I just feel like it is. Um, this person is, is, uh... All done playing games. This is somebody that is highly respectable, that is noble, that is is really going to be. This guy takes action. He has no fear. This is somebody that has a lot of confidence. This person knows what they want and they are going to be investing in something else because it was a dead end wherever they were. You know what I'm trying to say? So we have a dead end here. So we have somebody that is very strong and noble that is coming in because something has ended. It didn't bring the profit or the gain that they thought that it was going to bring. And now they are ready to invest someplace else. And they are about to connect with somebody that they, I feel like they already, I mean, they, I suppose it could be somebody new. But I feel like they already know this person. I feel like they already know this person. I think that they've ignored this opportunity or they let it fly, you know, or they let it go because of this four of cups. It's like they just didn't accept it. They were being, you know, they were stubborn or they were, they were being stubborn or they were already in the relationship. They were already in a relationship or something, but I feel like that relationship has ended and now they are, you know, they're coming around to invest and that is what I got. Good luck.